Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I got it. <laughs> Today I created for you this look using the Anastasia Subculture Palette. Ah. So if you'd like to see how I got this look, please keep watching. Okay, when I open this, are the heavens going to open? Are the angels going to sing? They might. <laughs> All right. This is what we got here, guys. Comes with a nice dual ended brush with um, a blender and a shader brush. I may try to use them just to see how they work. We'll see how it goes. But to begin, I have already obviously put on my foundation, um, blush, highlight, bronzer, contour, eyebrows, all that jazz. My lips are moisturized and I'm just ready to get started with these eyes. So, I'm going to go in to start with Dawn, which looks to be like a really good transition shade, and I'm using a BH Cosmetics Blender. And these are so soft, and yes, they do kick up a lot of products, so you'll probably see me blowing on my palette a lot, but, you know, quality shadows that are soft and blendable do that, so I'm totally okay with that. So, I'm going to go into my crease and just lay down this transition shade. I also already have my eyes primed with MAC Painterly, Painterly Paint Pot and I have it set with translucent powder. That's actually given me a little more color than I anticipated so that's cool. Nice transition color. I honestly feel like that a lot of times is what's missing for me. A matte brow bone highlight color and kind of a lighter or mid-tone matte brown or cream camelish color I always seem to be drawn towards but this one is very nice I don't really feel like there's a good brow bone highlight in here though there's some very frosty ones but I don't know I have to play around with this longer to figure out what's what and who's who. All I know is that there are some colors in here that are calling to me. <laughs> Blow number one. Okay, I am going to find a smaller blender. This is going to be a Morphe M513 and I'm going to go into the shade Roxy. And no, I won't sing Roxanne again to you like I did in the previous video. Nobody should have to listen to that twice. Uh, as we get into the more pigmented colors, I think I'm going to start tapping off my brush on my waste basket here because I'm afraid um, to go into too ham to start. Um, I'm just going to go into the outer or the actually the upper part of my crease here. And the, ooh, this is really pretty peachy color and you see how much kick up I have it doesn't really bother me but like I always feel like I'm, I'm blowing away all this product oh my though do you see how this almost blends itself that is the reason why this is my favorite I think I can I can say it's my favorite formula this one in Lorac are just such quality that I just don't think very many people beat them. Mmm. Yes, 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 honey. Yes, yes, honey. I didn't tap my brush off this time because I'm totally okay with going in heavy with this color because it's so pretty. This one was under my radar. I didn't even think, that, I mean, that this one was that special, but man, it is so pretty. So pretty. Wow, wow, wow. And I'm sorry, you're just going to have to listen to me swoon and, you know, witness the enjoyment of my first experience with this palette. So I just went back with my blender and I always kind of wonder where that lands on my cream colored carpet probably but anyways moving on the colors that are I am so drawn to in this palette are 
All Star, this kind of mauvey burgundy um, access, this teal, oh, good gravy. I can't wait to use that. And um, Rowdy, which is a really black and purple. Love that. All of them. The gold shade here, Adorn. Whoo, goodness. So what am I going to do next? I think I'm going to choose a more dense blender. I have a Sigma E25 here that to use, so I'm going to use my color switch. It is time for me to do some brush washing, and I don't want to. I used to be of the mind frame, oh, I need to wash brushes. Oh, it's time for me to buy some more. I don't know why. It's not like it's miserable or something. It's just time consuming. And once I get started, I don't want to do like two brushes. I want to do all of them. So I have a color switch down here and I just use that to get off any product. So I'm going to go in with All Star and I am definitely going to tap very lightly because look at that guys. I barely even touched my brush, but I'm definitely going to tap this off because I don't want to end up with a stripe that I can't blend out. But this is going to be almost maybe a brown undertone like a brownish like a brownish crimson color more brown than I anticipated I expected it to be a little bit more pinky but I'm glad that it's not because if you have the modern renaissance you have as much pinky as you need and so I'm happy to kind of have a plummy brown and I'm gonna use that in my outer V and pulling partly into my crease here. And this is just for the deepening of the outer corner and the providing a little depth here. Ooh, pretty. So I'm just kinda blending as I go here. That's pretty. And you can go in without tapping off if you're real careful about dipping lightly into the product. Depending on how intense you want the color to be. Whew. Pretty business right here, folks. Pretty business. I'm getting the happy joy joys. If you don't know what those are, get yourself an Anastasia palette. <laughs> I know, I'm a dork and a half, but I get really jazzed about some makeup. If you hadn't noticed. You want to get me jazzed? New Anastasia palette. Does it every time. Because I am a believer. I am absolutely a believer. Prior to the... Um, Modern Renaissance palette, I did not have any Anastasia products except for a Brow Wiz, and I had three singles. I had Sable, Pink Diamonds, and Orange Soda. And of course, I really did love those, but I just had no idea. I'm kind of going around the outer edge here with my uh, the brush that I set my primer with just because I got a little happy on the outside here, and I want to clean it up a bit as we go so I don't have a total mess. All right, I'm real happy with that. Real happy. So for the sake of a little bit more darkness, I'm going to use the brush that came. It's got a little shader that I think can be used as a little bit of a detail brush and I'm going to go into Rowdy and I'm going to use that on the very extreme outer corner and I'm just going to place it and then blend it with the brush that I just used for the other color. So I want it just on the outer corner. Wow. <laughs> this is like massively pigmented. Be careful with this one. So I'm just patting this into my outer corner and I'll use my other brush. And I don't even think I need to dip in again. No, I do not. Be careful with this one. 
I probably should have done a build up slowly with this thing. But this is an experiment and I'm getting a little fallout. And you know, that's my own fault because if you tap off your brush, you, you eliminate a lot of the problems of fallout. But I'm gonna go ahead and it's not anything major. Yep. All right, I'm going to go back with um, my E, my Sigma E25, and blend this out. And I'm going to go in really tiny little uh, circles so that I don't blend it all away. And I'll use this to pull it a little bit into my crease there. Yes, beautiful for deepening the outer corner. Beautiful. Yes, indeed. I don't like this or anything. Okay, I'm taking the Morphe M513 that has Roxy on it, and I'm not putting any more product. I'm just kind of going around the outside to blend all this out. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. Now, I'm going to go ahead and find my E36, my Morphe E36, and I'm going to go ahead and mimic some of this on my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with Roxy. And I'm going to put it all the way. That is so freaking pretty. This is a better peach than any peach in the Sweet Peach palette by Too Faced. This is so pigmented. You don't even hardly have to build it up. I love it. Wow. So impressed. So impressed. Okay, I'm not gonna do any more that I did on the top on the bottom because that teal has to go somewhere and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be on my lower lash line. Um, what am I gonna do with my, uh, let's see, I don't know. I kinda want some shimmer on my inner corner, but all the, this is a kinda weird green that I'm not sure I wanna put, I don't think I wanna use it yet. It's pretty. But the only other shimmer that's pointy, that's really sticking out to me is this Adorn, and it's gold. And I think that will look really pretty with what I got going on here. But I'm really curious about this cube. And I know it's looking just white in the pan, but I know it's got some kind of funky iridescent pink, pink and purple shift. And so I want that on my inner corner. So I'm going to do that first. And this is a Coastal Scents. BRC501, a tiny little detailer brush, and I'm going to use that with cube here. Go into my inner corner and see what happens. It doesn't even look like it's on my brush. I'm so confused about this one. Hmm. It doesn't appear to be doing anything. I wonder if I should try a base in there. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna not worry about that for right now. I wonder if I should put this limey green in my inner corner. I don't wanna regret it, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna put electric on my inner corner, see what happens. Well, not much. Hmm. All right. I guess I'm just going to 
go on with what I was doing. Um, I'm going to use this adorn on my lid. I'm going to go in with my finger. Oh, that's really beautiful. That's really beautiful. Very soft. But, I feel like I want more from it. I may do the MAC 242 and wet my brush thing with this. Just to... Okay, I decided to use a different brush. This is a Coastal Scents. BRC N51 and the reason is because it's got a little bit of a point there and it'll help me to get down into my inner corner a little better. I'm also going to use MAC Fix Plus to wet my brush but I'm going to go in with the and go into the color first and pack it on my brush. This is one of those really soft ones like the minute I went into it it's kind of got like a almost like a um, film on the top of it. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm going to load my brush here and spray it with some MAC Plus. Now let's see what you're going to do. Uh-huh. Yes, there we go. That's what I was looking for. I don't think I got much of the MAC Fix Plus on the brush, so it doesn't feel that wet. So I'm going to try again. I need more desk space. I need like a office desk. There we go. Okay, we got some wetness here now. Oh my goodness, yes, that's what I was wanting. Right there, yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I'm having thoughts in my mind about some Tarte Rose Gold liner, glitter liner for my inner corner. I'm thinking maybe that would be a great addition to this look. Whew. Lordy, that's some pretty business right there. I'm just going to take my first brush with Roxy on it and just kind of go around. I'm also feeling like I don't have a brow bone highlight. And so maybe I need to find my Anastasia Rip Modern Renaissance palette. It has some great brow bones. I heard <laughs> brow bones. Some great brow bone highlight colors. Maybe that's why they call these sister palettes and that they pair well together. As you can see, mine doesn't look at nearly as beat up as some I've seen, but this light pink color, I got some foundation or something on it. I'm glad that the other one is a little bit darker because, yeah. I am going to grab that little BRC or S01. I think I said 501. And I'm going to go into Primavera. And that's what I'm going to put on my inner corner. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. And I think. I think some of that eyeliner or glitter liner will be real pretty with this. Oh my my. That's good. Thank you Modern Renaissance for saving the day. Yes indeed. Okay. Now I'm going to take the, I'll just use the same brush. I'm going to use Prima, Prima, oh, Tempera. Tempera. And that's what I'm going to use for my brow bone highlight. I 
I've got doggies barking outside my window. It's not mine. Yeah. Okay, maybe I just need to always have both of these on my vanity. I think if I had both of these, I could probably not touch. If I had both of these in the Jaclyn Hill palette, I would probably never need to touch another palette. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm like nervous about, <laughs> about this teal color because it's so pigmented. But I so have to have it in this eye look. So I'm going to take my E36 again, my Morphe E36, and I'm going to dip very lightly into Axis. I just did a little tap. And I'm going to go in on my lower lash line. Oh my. Oh my goodness. I got a little too happy there. But it's going to show, isn't it? <laughs> this might have been pretty as, um, as the outer corner color, too. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going about two-thirds of the way across here. And I'm pulling a little bit up on the edge, almost like it's going to go up underneath my wing when I put my eyeliner on. <laughs> I'm going to use my color switch and I'm going to go back into Roxy and just kind of go underneath that green with the Roxy just to blend it out a little bit. And once I get that placed, I'll probably go back in with that other brush and just blend, blend, blend. And blow that out a little bit. It almost looks hunter green instead of um, teal. Maybe just because it's paired with this kind of peachy orange color. Just kind of blow that out a little bit. Hmm. Okay, let me search for the, oh, it's right where I needed it to be. This is the Tarte, um, Tarte Pro Glitter Liner. So I'm going to go with the really glittery side, and I'm just going to go right up underneath here, up until, and meet the green. Like right under my, right into the inner corner of my eye. And up until meets up with the green. Oh, that works so good. So pretty. Oh, yes it is. I am so happy with this. <gasps> I'm going to go back around the outside here and just make sure this is nice and cleaned up. I think I didn't go up as far with the green on here. I need to make sure it shows on both sides. There we go. Okay, it is get the eyelashes ready time. So I'm going to use, um, this was an Emily Noel recommendation. It's Tweezer Man or Tweezer Men um, eyelash curlers. I'm going to use that to curl my lashes and I'm going to get everything prepped for some falsies.
All right, folks, for my top lashes, I'm going to try a new mascara called Total Tease by CoverGirl. It's one of the Katy Perry ones, and the reason, I'll show you in a minute, it has a really unique brush, so that's the reason why I wanted to try it. And for bottom lashes, like always, Lash Accelerator by Rimmel. That's what the wand looks like. It's perfect. Oh, putting that darkness on the lashes is making that rose gold glitter come out to play. guys think of the palette so far tell me in the comment section did you get it did you plan on getting it did you try to get it is it on the way were you not interested in seeing how it performs did it change your mind at all like sometimes I'm like anti haul not gonna get it not interested and I see a few people use it and I'm like oh getting it <laughs> so maybe I'm being a bad influence on you right now but let me know how you feel about it so far, which colors are your favorites, and if you're getting it, tell me. I would love to see like a link to a video if you do a, t a tutorial with it. I'd love to see how you're using it. I get really excited about seeing how other people um, interpret the colors and how they decide to put their own spin on it. So, all right, this is the reason why I chose to try this, eye, or this new mascara. It has this funky brush. The top of it kind of reminds me of like the um, Benefit Roller Lash, but it's got this funky little spiky thing. I don't know if you can see it. Put my hand up in front of it. Anyway, I'm guessing that's for you to be able to get into the inner corners and get all your little baby lashes. So let's see what we think of this. I'm wondering if that thing is going to get in the way of or if I poke myself with it, but so far, if I hold the brush in the right way, it doesn't interfere with anything. It's doing a good job of fanning out the lashes. I'm going to turn around and use that little... Yeah, it is really nice for getting into those little corners on the ends. I might like to try this. Um on the bottom lashes next time. Oh, poke myself in the eye. That's what I was afraid of, but I didn't do too much damage. Just so you know, I do that probably every time I do my makeup. So, it can be devastating at times, you know. You do all this beautiful work and then you stab yourself in the eye and blink and have mascara on everything. I don't know about this, but I'll keep working with it. Um, with new mascaras, I usually don't like them right away. They're usually too wet. And after they dry out just a bit, I like them a lot better. I probably shouldn't have used this today. because I'm not very familiar with it, but we're gonna make it work. We're gonna roll with it. Roll with it, baby. Okay, I'm okay with that. I don't think they look fantabulous or anything like that, but they're black enough and they're fanned out enough. Um, I may just, I am, I'm gonna go in with this big shot that I know I love and just put another little layer on. See how fast I can go whenever I'm familiar with the wand and how it how it works. I don't have to be worried about what's going to poke me where. <laughs> All right. I got a little clumpy clumpy situation going on in my 
in our area here. All right, I got a major spider thing going on that hopefully the lashes will combat that. I am going to use, and these are on the wrong eyes, by the way. If they look backwards, it's because they're on the wrong fit. <laughs> I'm going to use a little black dress by Kiss Couture. Okay, I'm going to hold the lash in the center here. I'm going to use my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive, and I'm going to put a thin line of glue across the entirety of the lash band. Got to give it some time to be tacky. This is where you're like... Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy now. All right, we're gonna go in. Ugh, hard to do this on camera, folks. Look at the trouble that I go through for you. Trying to be cute and drop the eyelash. And we've had this discussion before. Where did it land? Just put the eyelash on, dummy. Stila, stay all day. Let me. Stila, stay all day. Again, let's not drop them. Let's not put them on the wrong eye. Let's get her done. I'm going to sit that one down to dry and go for the other one since I have, have any tragedy with that one yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's kind of like me telling my kitty cat that destroys everything. It's a good thing you're cute because otherwise I'd be throwing your tushy out the door and if you saw my torn up furniture, you would know why I'm saying that, but that's kind of how I feel about eyelashes. It's a good thing you're so pretty once I get you on, all the trouble that I go through to get you there. And yeah, I might be a little bit crazy because I talk to eyelashes, but don't pretend you don't. <laughs> don't pretend you don't talk to your makeup. I know you. <laughs> all right. That guy's going to sit down while the other guy that we started with earlier, we're going to go back in with him and see if we can't actually accomplish getting it on there this time. 
I'm sure Jesus is very concerned about my false eyelash. <laughs> you know, world hunger, orphans, you know, all those things. And he's worried about my false eyelash. Uh, no. Need to pull you over a tad. But he also loves me. And he knows that this eyelash going on my eye in the proper way is going to make me happy. <laughs> oh, guys. Yay. So far, what do you think of my first attempt with my subculture palette? I think it's pretty. I could do without... Um, Elvis and Priscilla that have decided to join me and don't seem to want to go away anytime soon. I could do without that. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm using this lip duo that I got from the Nordstrom sale, and this is Whirl. Um, it's not Whirl. It is Boldly Bare Lip Liner, and it is Velvet Teddy Lippy. I, every time I've used these, I've told you the wrong color. Oh, my strap. My strap! You're supposed to stay down there. Good Lord. This is what happens when I try to be cute, you guys. I'm just not. Anyways, never mind. Never mind. Boldly bear. I'm going to go around in circles here. Get that really sharp tip worn down. nicely it's kind of a peachy kind of a brownie nude actually it's pretty this is um, velvet teddy did anybody get a free Mac lipstick when I heard about the lip national lipstick day or whatever and they were giving away free lipsticks like I had already been shopping that day and I was somewhere where I could have gotten it I'm like I just got the ones that I really wanted already and do I want to go to a mall? No, I do not. I think that's a beautiful color. I'm going to put it in my pocket so I don't lose it. This will probably be the first of many tutorials that I will create using this palette because I'm very excited about it. And I'm excited to see what it can do. So stay tuned. There will be some more coming. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Got you. Got you. Don't you fall down. Don't you do it. And I got you. Sometimes. We're not even going to discuss it. I'm just going to pretend like it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I didn't forget my eyeliner. I didn't. This will probably the... Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. 
I will be doing a live stream tonight to swatch this out for you. So if you'd like to see, be looking for that. This is going to be posted later. Why am I saying that? I have no idea. Because I'm a reach retire. Anyway. That's a wrap. Oh, am I going to do my finishing speech? That's a wrap. Mm-hmm. <laughs>